Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Nalani Hunsaker. I'm a physician assistant specializing in diabetes management in Southern California. I am also a type one, like many of you, and I'm an active member of the diabetes online community as a blogger. We are going to take a deep dive into the diabetes online community today, but before we do, I want to tell you a little bit about myself, why I do what I do, and how I got so involved in the diabetes online community. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 8 on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. It was a beautiful place to grow up, but we really struggled a lot with access to health care. Um, there were no endocrinologists on island and no pediatric endos in the entire state when I was diagnosed. So my family and I went through a lot um, just trying to get me to a place where I could live a normal uh, life as a child. And ironically, when I was 10 years old, my mom took me to a TCOYD conference in Oahu, and it completely altered the course of my life and my disease. I met a physician assistant there and fellow type one named John Walsh, who was so kind. He was doing a talk on insulin pump therapy at the time. And this was the first time we'd ever heard of insulin pumps. And my mom was so excited. She sort of did the mom thing and ran up to him after his talk and introduced us. And I think he could sense the desperation in my mom's voice because he actually flew to Kauai with his wife, Ruth, and they had dinner with us and kind of told us what life could potentially be like for me with diabetes. And he gave us a bunch of his books and articles. And for my parents, the knowledge that he provided was invaluable. But for me, this was the first time that I'd ever seen anyone with diabetes use their diabetes to help others and turn it into a strength. And I thought to myself, I could do that. And so I worked really hard and I got into this physician assistant school. And uh, once I got in, I actually found John's email online and I wrote to him asking if he would preceptor me. And to my complete shock, he said yes. And so I signed on to a preceptorship with him and a bunch of other amazing clinicians in San Diego. Uh, and then I was hired on there afterwards. So it really came full circle for me. And I learned so much out that job. Um, but about six months into my practice, I started to feel like I needed to do more. And I think that stemmed from my childhood and being a kid isolated on an island and not having access to information. And um, so I started to explore the diabetes online community and I realized that if we had had access to the DOC when I was growing up, I think my life would have been a lot easier and things would have been a lot different for me. So I started an Instagram blog called Diabetes PA where I basically teach about diabetes. And though I can't be a clinician to people um, from afar, I can still be a teacher and I really love it. So it's, it's been a wonderful experience and it's actually given a lot back to me as well. It's the first place where I've ever felt like um, people understand me and that says a lot and it means a lot to me. And so I'm really passionate about it. And I advocate that all my, my patients get involved in the diabetes online community as well. So let's dive into that a little bit more. This is a slide I made a while ago, um, sort of a day in the life of someone with diabetes. And I wanted to show you all this slide because I think it, uh, it really exemplifies what we, uh, as people with diabetes go through on a daily basis. Um, there's so many ups and downs, both with our blood sugars and emotionally, and it's really hard to find people that understand what life with diabetes is like. Um, so that's where the diabetes online community comes into play. You can find people that really get you. You might be thinking that maybe you don't have diabetes, but this is still a place for you. It really um, is, 
is a place for anybody who has been touched with diabetes in their life. Uh, we have people with diabetes. Uh, these are some of my, my diabetes online friends. Um, we have parents of kids with diabetes. This is a profile of a parent whose daughter has type one. Her daughter's name is Jenna. And we actually have become pen pals and she's really sweet. And I've enjoyed watching her grow up um, sort of online. There are spouses of people with diabetes, friends, healthcare providers like myself. There's groups like the Diabetes Strong Community and Connected in Motion. And there's even foundations and associations like the American Diabetes Association. So in 2018, uh, they did a study basically analyzing what people in the diabetes online community are talking about. And they found that there were six life themes across all platforms in the diabetes online community. First was community. Um, and I kind of already touched on that. It's really a place where you can find people who understand you and get, get what you're going through. And uh, like I mentioned, I run a, a Instagram blog and I asked my followers what the diabetes online community means to them. And here are some of their responses. My diagnosis was initially overwhelming and I'm so grateful for the online support. It's a place where someone understands how I truly feel about diabetes. And it means that I'm not alone. This person uh, posted that they want diabetes friends and they wanted to know how they can find them. And someone commented, we are all here to support and encourage each other. And someone else even offered to set up a Zoom call with them, which I thought was really cool. The second theme is pride with uh, things like hashtag diabetes tattoos. We have a uh, diabadass here with a shirt saying type ones are the hype ones. And then we have a beautiful young woman showing off her muscles and her awesome diabetes gear with the hashtag T1D strong. The third theme was getting personal with diabetes technology. So here we have my pen pal, Jenna, uh, looking awesome and putting on her new Dexcom. We have, this is a Jamie. He's a dietitian in the diabetes online community and he's showing off his insulin pump. And then I even have one from Beyond Type One, another social media platform uh, where this person is kind of giving tips about wearing his CGM, where he put his CGM and how he likes the accuracy. And that leads us to the next theme with, which is tips and tricks. This uh, is where my blog really fits in, I think. Um, and there's so many people out there that are providing tips and tricks for people with diabetes. Um, it is important to make sure that you're looking at reputable sources when you, when you get this information, but it really is a good place to find some good info. So this is a screenshot of my Instagram blog, Diabetes PA. And I have lots of tips that I've learned both personally and as a clinician with diabetes, um, such as insulin gone bad. There's uh, information about the super bolus and even exercise management with diabetes. And then of course, venting. What would social media be without venting? Um, <laughs> we, as people with diabetes, you know, go through a lot. And so it's a good place to kind of express your struggles and find people that support you and understand you. Last year, there was a campaign going around called Striped where people with diabetes were keeping track of how many extra decisions that they made each day to manage their diabetes. And I think what the main purpose was it was to uh, highlight um, the mental burden that diabetes can have on a person. So this young woman is um, very active in the diabetes online community and she's keeping track of how many decisions she made in just one day regarding her diabetes. And then my favorite theme, which is humor. 
this person is getting ready to bolus for a donut and trying to figure out how much insulin to give. I think we've all been there. <laughs> and then we have uh, this little girl who's waiting for her blood sugar to normalize. And we have this meme that I thought was really funny. How time feels during a low. One hour here is seven years on earth. And the next <laughs> little little snippet is uh, my husband's response to my question about uh, what the diabetes online community needs to him. And he said that it means I have to answer my wife's online survey. So <laughs> anyway, I am, I'm really happy to be here today and I really appreciate you all joining me. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning of this talk, uh, TCOID conference really changed the course of my life. And I think that that is a common feeling for people. And so I'm really happy to be a part of this conference and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your time here. And if you're new to the diabetes online community or you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I put my information here on this last slide and I hope to see you online. Take care, bye.